Welcome to this radio channel and this is the quick outlook of the um, propagation and solar activity and um, of course if we take a look we are Monday February the 26th so what will the, the conditions be like this week first if we look at the uh, geomagnetic field it's been pretty quiet uh, we've reached a, G, a um, K3 at some point on uh, February 24th but it's been pretty stable and uh, propagation this weekend was actually not too bad. Now if we look at what's happening, one of the things that is happening here is that there's this coronal hole and you see it here and this is actually sending out some solar wind and um, the wind speeds are fast enough that they might actually trigger some small geomagnetic storming. So um, propagation is expected to be not too bad but Sometimes when the uh, geomagnetic field gets a little bit, you know, uh, brushed by this solar wind, it might create small geomagnetic storming, but not the strong ones. So it will have an effect, but might not have too much of an effect. Uh, solar flux is very low, of course, because of the uh, lack of sunspots and solar activity. It is showing that we are going to the uh, solar minimum. If we look at the solar flux at the bottom left here, you see it's 67. And... Um, no sunspots right now, nothing really uh, special. Let's cross our fingers that something might eventually appear and um, that might help us in uh, having a little better propagation. Um, let's cross our fingers for a few sunspots that might appear. And you know, these might appear at any time. We don't always know why. Here we have another view of the uh, coronal holes. Uh, for those that wonder, coronal holes are simply uh, places where the atmosphere, the um, the sun kind of opens up a little bit and lets the solar wind escape a little faster than usual. And uh, this might trigger small geomagnetic uh, storms. But for now, you know what? Um, things are quiet. Why not uh, check out the bands? I did um, some listening yesterday. Propagation was actually not too bad. But, you know, the lack of uh, solar uh, sunspots and the low solar activity it really shows when it gets dark the, the maximum usable frequency really drops fast um, also notice that above 20 megahertz there's really not that much to listen to shows uh, also the low maximum usable frequency so enjoy your listening hope you enjoy these little um, outlooks and look of solar activity i will post this uh, pretty much every week so i uh, hope that you enjoy this little service and my outlook of what's happening with the propagation of shortwave signals. Uh, two websites, of course, to visit, spaceweather.com and solarham.net are the two websites that are uh, great for information about solar activity. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.